right, let's start with number nine. Check out Bjork crushing a performance as a teenager in Iceland. Mm. I think I had that haircut when I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm afraid you did. Yeah, she's she's known for her, you know, bizarre outfits. Remember, didn't she wear that swan dress? Yeah. She the one the one time. She's currently on her Cornucopia World Tour after wow. releasing her album mm -hmm. called Fasora last fall. She started her career at age 11, gained fame as the lead singer of the alt rock band The Sugar Cubes. <laughs> Who knew? All right, number eight. Uh, what is an ampersand? Oh, yeah, the old ampersand. Well, it is a sign or symbol, and when typed or written out, it means and. The ampersand uh, stems from ancient Rome and the word uh, et. For a while, in the early 1800s, it was the 27th letter of the alphabet. Huh. You'll even find it in really old school books from that period. The ampersand came after W, X, Y, and Z, but it was too confusing. It eventually got removed by the end huh. of the 19th century. Oh. Oh, thanks, Pat. Number seven, here's a goal scored on a header by Cristiano Ronaldo to win a game back in 2019. It's a great goal at full speed, but it's become pretty iconic because the slow-mo shows just how amazing his athleticism is. Here comes in slow-mo. Let's take another look. All right. He's got great hair. Defending him, he has yeah. no shot. No, you dirt. Wow. Mm. Ow. Ow. Interesting. You should bring him up. He makes an appearance on most followers on Instagram. I Ooh. won't tell you where unless Ooh. you're never gonna guess who you the number one. This? Yeah, you and I were talking about this yeah. in the car the other day, which but, led yeah, yeah. me to give him number this idea. one most followers on Instagram. You're never gonna guess. Right. I thought it was him. Mm -hmm. It's not him. Not him. Huh. Not All right. him. Suspense hmm. continues. Yeah. Is that today? Uh, That's yeah, coming oh, up in a few wait. minutes, yep. yeah. Number six, a young woman on TikTok got people engaged in some good back and forth when she claimed that nerds make the best husbands. Uh, she posted, when a guy is in his 20s, has a lightsaber, is into anime, that's a green flag, which means he's married material. <laughs> Come on. The original poster <laughs> also pointed out that there are tons of TV shows and movies about nerdy girls who take off the glasses and become beautiful and cool. Lots of women said there are men out there who are just like that. The woman says these types of guys have good character because they've learned the importance of honor and loyalty uh -huh. and empathy. Uh -huh. Those are all good yeah. attributes, mm -hmm. but uh -huh. I, I've already told my daughter, listen, if you start dating some of these nerd fellas. He'll be you're set out. for life. No, you're out. Oh, you're out stop of the family. It. No, no, no. <laughs> stop you're it. You're out of the will. We've got a lineage yeah. that has got to go on for generations. You're not we're, cool. Oh, I'm the coolest guy <laughs> in the family. Yeah. I hate to tell yeah. you. Yeah, no, I'm right here. Yeah. And, you, and I'm like, if you bring these guys in. And that's why I don't think you have to worry about it. <laughs> that's right. Because she's accustomed to living with right, these kind of coolness. Here, right, yeah. yeah. We can't do this. Yeah. By cool, do you mean polka music <laughs> yeah. and eating raw right, vegetables? The real cool people <laughs> right. Up here, right? Yeah. You start lowering it in with you know, the others. You people got yeah. wearing, wearing don't socks even come on home. carpeting, right. yeah, those don't even weirdos. Get the eccentrics, the nut jobs. Oh, Keep God. them away. Yeah, we don't want these dorks who like music and movies. <laughs> yeah, it's the crazy music, talk. music people are the worst. <laughs> All, right. All right, number <laughs> five. You later hosing and dance with your oh, yeah, family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah he's yeah, super cool. Yeah. The bar has been set high. All right, number five. Uh, science, not fiction. Scientists are building a better bionic eye. The artificial device is as thin as a piece of paper 
and it connects to a retinal implant. It's placed behind the eye to brain cells. The electronic electrodes restore vision typically lost in the aging process. That's pretty cool. The wow. new design could improve uh, eyesight for millions of patients. Look at that. Hmm. All right, uh, number four, instant photos with a twist. The classic Polaroid camera is getting an upgrade. The i2 still looks, is it i2 or 1.2? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. i2. The kids uh, love the Polaroids now. Yeah, it looks retro with the big lens and shutter option, but now it's got a few more instant photo options. Uh, photogs can use multiple shooting modes and manually adjust their shot. A triple lens promises the sharpest shot of any Polaroid camera. It comes with an app that lets you control the camera remotely so the person behind the lens can join group photos. This is so... What are we doing taking bad pictures? <laughs> My kids have got, you know, they're getting those disposable ones. They're like 25 bucks for dispose, another 25 to have it processed, and the pictures are all crap. It's, it's retro. They want to see a hard copy of a picture because everything's on their phone now. I know, but it's dumb. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Number three, <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, there's a new segment here. That's dumb yeah. with Paul Conrad. <laughs> this huge bug is the giant Malaysian kitty did. Oh, sweet mother. Wow. They're what? a cousin to the cricket oh. and distantly related to grasshoppers. They grow six inches with a 10-inch wingspan. Ooh. Their diet consists of plants along with other bugs. They are not dangerous to humans, but they might damage your plants. Mm. Ugh. Mm. Oh, wait. All right. All right, number two. Uh, would you mind if I spoke to you about the Bible? Uh, but really, this uh, pertains to something that's been depicted in lots of art. It's from the Gospel of Matthew when Jesus went into the temple of God and drove out all those who bought and sold in the temple and he flipped over the tables of the money changers. Okay, that's some good biblical art. There's been a lot of discussion in this past month or so about how AI can make art. And if you ask AI to depict this scene, Jesus flipping over the tables of the money changers in the temple, this All is right. what you're gonna get. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, that's also pretty cool. Yeah, that is not bad yeah. either. Mm. All right. All right, number one, with the writer's strike still going on, here's a reminder of the great things they make. This Adam Sandler sketch from SNL was written by Anna Dresden, who was the head writer there for two seasons. Culture, history, spaghetti. These are the things of a boot country called Italia. Hello, I'm Joe Romano of Romano Tours. For two generations, my family has provided high-quality tours of Italy to people from all over the world, but mostly Long Island and Jersey. <laughs> we saw all of Italy in a bus, okay? We ate every day incredible. Yeah, I got to look at the Pope, and he even told me happy birthday. Thanks, Thanks for Romano, Romano Tours. tours. <laughs> Explore the old country with our award-winning 10-day vacation packages. See Venice, the city of wetness. <laughs> Point and laugh at the Tower of Pisa. <laughs> and play with some dough in Napoli. People love us, but every so often a customer leaves a review that they weren't, they were disappointed or didn't have as much fun as they thought. So here at Romano Tours, we always remind our customers, if you're sad now, you might still feel sad there, okay? <laughs> you understand that makes sense? <laughs> Our tours will take you to the most beautiful places on Earth. Hike the cliffs of the Amalfi Coast. Fish with the nets in Sorrento. Do this, I don't know. <laughs> but remember, you're still gonna be you on vacation. <laughs> if you are sad where you are, and then you get on a plane to Italy, <laughs> you in Italy will be the same sad you from before, just in a new place. Does that make sense? <laughs> There's a lot of vacation can do. Help you unwind, see some different looking squirrels, <laughs> but it cannot fix deeper issues, like how you behave in group settings <laughs> or your general baseline mood. That's a job for incremental lifestyle changes sustained over time. 
I want to be very clear about what we can do for you. We can take you on a hike. We cannot turn you into someone who likes hiking. We can take you to the Italian Riviera. We cannot make you feel comfortable in a bathing suit. We can provide the zip line. We cannot give you the ability to say we and mean it. You're not your sister. <laughs> We can provide you with a wine tasting tour of Tuscany. We cannot change why you drink. <laughs> okay? I'm sorry, but it's true. And our friendly tour guides are happy to take your picture. But remember, That's good stuff. the pictures you're in. <laughs> That's, That's a 99.